Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Reading today, formerly known as Reading General until 1974. We're going to Prospect Park to visit the miniature railway. Now, I would get a train from over there, but there's not one for an hour. So I'm going to leave the station through the ticket barriers over there. I'm going to walk to Prospect Park. So I've now been walking for about 15 minutes through Reading, through Reading Centre. This is Reading West Station. So this was where I intended to come up, up that long slope from down where the platforms are. I've never been out that entrance, I've only been to Reading Station, Reading West Station about once. Going over this uh, not very exciting bridge, should see the station. So if you are coming to this railway, then do come by train. Unfortunately today they were doing engineering works on the line down to Basingstoke, so that's why there's a lot less trains running. And um, I'd, my train got there about five minutes after a rail present bus. So you can see the station just down there. So yeah, that's where we didn't arrive from and not really much to see on that side other than well, there's a cutting and up there, I think it's called South Coat Junction, where the line goes south to Basingstoke. The Barton Hans turns west and goes towards Newbury and eventually Taunton down to the West Country. So I'm going to continue walking in this direction to Prospect Park. I've just been walking along that road along there for about half a mile or so, passing this rather interesting looking Italianate church and across the road that's Prospect Park. It was once a country estate and it's one of those ones that's gradually become an urban park. But I believe I'm at the wrong side of the park for the railway so I should cross the road and walk through the park down to where the railway is. I just had a pleasant walk across the park and we're almost at the railway. I can just see the old mansion just up on the hill up there, but we it's really the railway that we've come to see today. So here's the station, you can hear the whistles of steam locos, sound very American whistles. What I've got to do, I've got to go over the station footbridge to buy tickets before we go for a ride. So that's probably one of the trains we're going to travel on. So let's go up here over the bridge. Thank you. And um, we need to get our tickets before we can go for a ride. It's a little bit crowded up on this bridge at the moment. So there's two tracks, or two railways, that's the ground level one, American Steam Loco steaming below us, and down there is the race track. And uh, there's a class 58 below us. That Loco's nicknames are Bones, and you can see why from up here, how they are very much like a bone. So we come down here. So it's quite interesting that public right of way actually has a footpath, footbridge over the miniature railway. We're looking forward to getting some American steam haulage when we've got our tickets, so we're just coming down now. If you come by car, there is a rather large car park ahead of us, so although I came by train, it's just as easy to come by car. So I've got to go over to that little um, hut there by the tickets. There's also a little tea room, I've been told, so I'll go over there and uh, see what we can get. I was been in there, I've had a cup of tea, we had a look at the model railway, bought some tickets, so let's go and uh, have a ride. Uh, we have to have a few rides, well there's a few railways and a few locos, so let's go and ride the railway.
I've had a few rides on this railway, really enjoyed it. There's an interesting connection with Reading. If you look on the logo, it says Reading Lines, Pennsylvania. So that's obviously Reading, America. It's American loco, it's a Baldwin. So it's quite nice that here in Reading, England, we can ride locos from Reading, America, just in miniature scale. And then there's the other American loco, just steaming in now. It comes off a bank there, so I think it's a really nice bit of that. There's that class 58 we had a ride on on the racetrack miniature railway. There is talk of them extending the racetrack miniature railway over there to another loop where the car park is, but um, that'll be something for the future. Have another look at this. Have a look at this road here now. It's got a rather big light on the front, which is quite cool. So I've got um, two tickets left, so it probably means two more rides. Just watch this high mech go past. Now we'll go back over the footbridge over the other side and um, have another another ride on the American loco. Not sure which one, but um, I've had a have a ride on both of them now, so get some more American mileage. So that one says Chicago, West Pullman, and Southern Railroad. Perhaps we're going to have a trip behind that one.
Sense of scale. So another great afternoon here at Prospect Park on the Miniature Railway. As you can see the car park is starting to empty, the trains are being put away. I'm going to, rather than do the walk I did, although I did quite enjoy it, I'm going to find my way out that way and go and find a bus to go back to Reading where I shall get the train home. So I've really enjoyed it here, so if you want to come and visit this railway, we know you can get there by bus, you can get there by train from Reading West, it's a bit of a walk, but it also has a large car park. So I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching, thank you to the Reading Model Engineering Societies for a brilliant afternoon, really enjoyed it, really enjoyed getting some American steam haulage, and um, as everyone else seems to be leaving now, it's time for me to go, so thank you very much, goodbye. Oh, what are we like? I'm on the paper.